In the name of God. Hello. I am Muhammad Sadaqati and from Iran. I am studying Master of Technopreneurship at University of Tehran. I am the researcher at Faculty of Entrepreneurship in Tehran, the capital of Iran. I'm really glad to be with you and this is my pleasure. I've learned that communication is the core at any successful jobs and because of this I am here. This is why I am here to talk about my presentation and because of this I traveled to Doha from Tehran yesterday. A journey always starts from A. This is me when I was four years old. My first and last love was visiting dinosaurs. Unfortunately, my mom told me that they were extinct 65 million years ago, and this was my first love failure. This is me, 28 years later. My dream is still visiting dinosaurs. Of course, real dream will not change. I think these days it seems that my dream will come true. It doesn't mean that the dinosaurs are coming here. It means that we as human are going there. The same fate, the same destination. In the history, we have the largest mass extinction. It's about the dinosaurs because of the change in their environment. Exactly like these situations we face, our environment is changing because of artificial intelligence revolution. And I am here to talk about AI from A to I. Before I have a detailed look, I want to talk about a brief history of artificial intelligence. In 1956, John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence for the first time. In 1969, the first general purpose mobile was built. In 1997, we have a supercomputer that defeat the champion of chess. In, 20, in 2002, the first successful robotic vacuum cleaner was built. And after that, we have some automation. And the most important part is, after 2020, we have AI growth and AI revolution. Let's make it clear. If I want to talk about human extinction, it doesn't mean that all of us will die 50 years later. It means that AI will control, handle, and manage the whole world. Come with me in the history. In the history, we have two largest empires. The first one is Achaemenid Empire, which was founded by Cyrus the Great, that covered half of the world. The second one is Roman Empire, which was covered 21% of the world. No one can consider that the world will witness a much larger empire, but Dynasty AI is coming. AI empire will cover the whole world. Enormous change will happen. When we want to pass a website, we must pass recapture. What is recapture? Recapture is a safe service that protects us from spam. In 2024, we must select I'm not robot. Maybe some years later, it go upside, upside, and upside, and it changed to I'm not human. Faster you imagine, AI revolution is happening. In 2024, when we go offline, the Google Chrome suggests us a playing with dinosaurs. Maybe some years later, it changed to this model. It means that Google Chrome suggests us a playing with a human because human extinction is happening. Generally, will artificial intelligence will destroy natural intelligence? Hype cycle is the answer. Look at this slide. Gartner hype cycle provides a graphic representative of the maturity and adoption of technologies. It means that if you want to talk about a new technology, you can use the most famous graph in technology we called Gartner. 
we have five phases that I want to talk about one by one and emphasize and take a focus on the last one. As you see in the slides, the first one is, this is the stage when technology is first introduced to the public. The second one is, media and industries have some news about this technology and introduce it to all the human. The third one, de decrease as people question is viability. The fourth one, a slope of enlightenment shows that at this stage, more realistic expectations emerge about the technology limitations. But I am here to emphasize on the last one, plateau of productivity. It means that the final phase is technology reaches maturity. And in the next slide, I think there is a problem. In the next slide, we showed that the hype cycle of AI reaches the fifth phase. It means AI revolution reaches maturity and adoption. And the scientists told us that horror stories start with a nice and kindly scenario, this slide. It means that when we want to go a movie, a science fiction movie, it starts with a nice and kindly scenario, exactly like the AI. Today, we are really glad to use AI like chatbots, chat, chat GPTs, etc., image processing. But the scientists argue that this is a primary scenario and the horror concept of AI will be emerged soon. But our result, our research shows that we have three types of AI. The first one refers to ANI. It means artificial narrow intelligence. By definition, it has narrow capabilities like predicting a weather. It refers to machine learning. This is the most common AI model that we have today. The second one is AGI, artificial general intelligence. It refers to machine intelligence. It means that a machine, a device, can think like you. But this is why I am here. The last, the most important, and the most dangerous one is ASI, artificial super intelligence. It looks like entering a science fiction movie. If it happened, no one can predict what happened. It's really dangerous. When I talk that it refers to machine consciousness, I mean that a machine, a device, can think instead of you, can do instead of you, can imagine instead of you, and everything instead of you. And if it happens, it looks like a powerful lightning that hit the world. Exactly the lightning that hit the earth and caused dinosaurs extinction. Now, we as human, intelligence proves that we as human are the king. Artificial intelligence is the soldier. It's up to us how to treat the soldier. Maybe control it or whether it causes human extinction. Two rules are here. Rule number one, learn AI. Rule number two, listen to rule number one. At last, ladies and gentlemen, I, Muhammad Sadaghati, Master of Technopreneurship and AI expert, ask you a question again. Will we go extinct like dinosaurs? It's up to us. Thank you for your consideration.